Okay friends, so let's talk about the installation of Android Studio 3.1 and uh, I have listened that uh, this is a very incredible one. So this is my studio and I'm going to install the EMG file. Uh, you can do the same uh, with the Windows. You just need to download it. I will give you the link and uh, here you can see, let me uh, try to install it. Here like this and uh, it will verify okay so just what I need to do out here I need to just drag and drop it to application so here it's like this all right so it is preparing preparing to copy it is something about 1.37 gb and actually i'm facing some trouble with my old id old studio that is 3.0 so i decided to switch to the latest one and let's see how it work and let us talk about the features It will take some time and uh, you can go through this uh, their documentations like here okay not this one all right now so this is my studio so let me click on it Okay, so it is verifying studio. All right, so it is, a, uh, is an application downloaded from the net. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, please open it. Okay, so I have a previous version, so I need to import my setting from the previous version and uh, or uh, uh, you can see the previous versions library here somewhere or uh, you can do one thing you can have a custom location a library preferences uh, let me try uh, do not import setting okay because uh, i deleted each and everything i think before if i remember so so let's do it do not import the settings or you can import the setting okay let's go with the do not import the setting and this is the studio Okay, so it is downloading the repositories and all images, whatever the SDK component required to create another application. Now oh, that's great, my friend. So here you can see, welcome back. So this is welcome back. This uh, setup wizard will validate your current Android SDK and development environment setup. Okay, just let's click on next, and I will go with the standard one. Okay, that looks so cool. So you can see out here, you can swings. It's like that's great. Okay, see, uh, they were asking for your default, okay, uh, theme that you like. Okay, so I'm just switching to Dracula. I like Dracula, okay. So here you can see this one and all right. So here, let me click on finish. And now here, uh, studio is going to download the SDK. So uh, we need to wait for it, okay. We need to wait for it. So here, I will wait for some time and i will be back here okay when when this bar move to this uh, to the end okay friends so components are downloaded and let me click on finish here like this oh that's great so now you can create a new android project so this is how you can install and this is the 3.1.2 the latest version uh, of android studio so let me try to create a simple let me show you means what are the means uh, everybody know how to create an android project but let me walk you through 
so same it's here you can see the no difference you can have an application name you can get, uh, give a company domain you, ha you you will have a project location okay so you can also include the kotlin support if you want and let me click on next and here you can see okay uh, the minimum target version wearable devices and you can see the lot of target versions are available and let me click on next here and once again you need to select uh, the activity that you uh, want to create here so let me click on next and uh, this is my main activity this activity underscore main and let me click on finish so gradle will create a project and that's look so cool all right so this is our first application and welcome to android studio 3.1 so let me close the steps and it's nearly simple okay you can see you have a project android project files problems production some new things comes out here you can see new options project files problems so here nothing to show no problems android all right so without wasting any time let me try to run this app so we know it's so simple and one thing that you can see out here here I selected Kotlin okay so that's why here you can see this is how the Kotlin you can write Kotlin class main and then colon app compat activity this is how it look like and this is dot kt that is a dot Kotlin so here the Java so this is my main activity and here activity underscore main that is an XML okay so this is how an XML look like that's great that's great so let me run this and we know to run this app my friend we need to have an emulator so let me see here you can see we are having here an AVD manager like this so we need to create a virtual device so I will open it and I will click on next all right okay so no good we have by default no good so let me select no good and let me use everything as a default okay and let me click a finish so it will create an emulator and then we are ready to run this app okay so here is how it look like and now let me run it okay so initializing a d b all right that's cool my dex is full not an issue i will press ok and we'll wait for some time to have an output so all right friend now we have an output that is a hello world so this is how you can create it's very easy it's same so you can create a hello world application in android 3. One, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and uh, it's very easy to uh, create application in Android Studio. So go and download Android Studio, the latest version, and install it. And if you face any issues, uh, you can comment me. And please don't forget to subscribe this channel. And our, uh, uh, if you want to join our courses, you can uh, visit AndroidAcademy.com. So bye bye. Take care.